in the burnt up body of a bug. Fish, 
knew to lead the sort of life the working stiff dreams about. Driving a Studebaker, making pies with his wife, taking a dip in the old swimming hole. Yes, sir, Happy Noodle had it good and he wasn't complaining. He always waved hello and always smiled and always tipped his hat and said, Nice weather we're having, regardless of the weather. Now, as most protagonists do, he had an antagonist, a polar opposite bent on nullifying his happy existence. His name was Sad Noodle, a pathetic excuse for an egg and flour mixture with a little extra water just for tears. He worked in a successful firm and was under a lot of stress. And this is the story of their ultimate battle. Happy Noodle versus Sad Noodle. Happy Noodle versus Sad Sad Noodle. Happy Noodle versus Sad Noodle. Happy Noodle versus Sad Sad Noodle. One day as Happy Noodle was out mowing the lawn with a smile and a song, and Edsel pulled up in front of the house. It was Sad Noodle. He leaned his ropey head out the window and said, Look, Happy Noodle, I'm sick of being your polar opposite. You know, sad all the time and whatnot. It makes it hard to get along. I've come to challenge you to a duel to the death. So Happy Noodle put down his mower in a flash, saying, If it'll make you happy, and Sad Noodle cringed. Happy Noodle hopped in the back seat, and they were off to the gravel pit. Happy Noodle singing all the way, and Sad Noodle driving like a madman. This will end it all, thought Sad Noodle, and they prepared for the fight. A strange sight, two noodles standing face to face, one smiling and one frowning. Happy Noodle versus Sad Noodle. Happy Noodle versus Sad Sad Noodle. Happy Noodle versus Sad Noodle. Happy Noodle. Versus Sad Sad Noodle Thinking on his feet, Sad Noodle used his head as a whip and tried to trip Happy Noodle But he slipped and he flipped face first on the ground with a sound Like a wet noodle slapping the ground kind of sound Then Happy Noodle wrapped Sad Noodle up around a tree and said See Sad Noodle, don't you mess with me Cause I'll be the baddest noodle there'll ever be I am happy Happy Noodle Versus Sad Noodle Happy Noodle Versus Sad Sad Noodle Happy Noodle versus Sad Noodle Happy Noodle versus Sad Sad Noodle So after Happy Noodle untied Sad Noodle they got back in the car Sad Noodle defeated, dejected, depressed dropped Happy Noodle off at his door and said You know what? I don't think that helped me very much And Happy Noodle just smiled and said Sad Noodle, why don't you come in for some pie? And Sad Noodle said No, I'm sorry, I don't like pie that much but thanks all the same Happy Noodle versus Sad Noodle Happy Noodle Versus Sad Sad Noodle Happy Noodle Versus Sad Noodle Happy Noodle Versus Sad 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 Noodle
vividly raw Kids in the class put the cure back when rock was pure I have a little, uh, I, I just think we need to go back to our, our childlike days. As children, we had never gone on to put limits around things. I'm on the phone with her, and she says she is tired of being unpredictable. So she's going to go to Portland, she's going to go. Since 1942 and before, Farkle has been an international institution known worldwide for its endurance, reliability, celery smell, and freshness in the face of adversity, mold, concrete, Dostoevsky, ready-made pie crust, tackle box, and reducing swelling in children ages 14 to 86. Farkle was history in the making. Why, even Farkle's late creator, the late creator of Farkle, used to say... I forgot what I was going to say! It was quite funny, though. An amusing anecdote! Yes, as our American boys marched off to war, marching over land, marching overseas, and marching in the air, Farkle and Farkle commercials kept their spirits alive and sparkling clean. Why, here's an old Farkle commercial from the old days of black and white right here! Yes, friends, the year is 1942 and before. Adolphus Hitler and his mighty army of nasties are rising up, and Farkle is cheaper than ever. Buy it today and save a lot of hassle. And now, frozen in this block of ice, is the creator of Farkle himself. Would you say a few words for us here today? Now, right this moment, here's the microphone. Here, go ahead. 
I forgot what I was going to say. It was quite funny, though. An amusing anecdote. As most of you know by now, Farkle is the best. Keep one in the icebox to prevent freezer burn. It's not only the leading brand in blind taste tests, but deaf people really like it, too. Great for those embarrassing carpet stains. Perfect onion flowers every time. Just Farkle and forget it. Keep one in the icebox to prevent freezer burn. So long, Mr. Pizza Face. Later. With Farkle, you'll never have to say chronic halitosis again. Comes with hooks. Always flaky, never dry. And I don't even have kids. Keep one in the icebox to prevent freezer burn. But enough about Farkle. Let's see what our celebrity spokesfigment, John John the Leprechaun, has to say about Farkle. I'm John John the Leprechaun. Top of the morning to ye and your kin. Why, when it comes to Farkle, I've only one regret, and that's that I've but one Farkle to give for me country. However, in lieu of giving up me Farkle, I'm gonna shoot myself out of this big humongous cannon. If this were a television commercial, you'd be able to see some fine print right now that reads... Highly paid spokespeople for Fargo, members of the Actors Guild. And now, here are some completely unpaid random people like you and your mother who just love Fargo. Yar! Twenty years ago, the great white Fargo took my leg in a mighty struggle. In a morbidly ironic twist, though, I've used nothing but Farkle and Farkle products to upkeep my new pig leg. Yar, thank ye, Farkle. Farkle is the best thing that I ever tasted. It's better than water, and it's better than glue. I love Farkle. I spread it all over my body. Just take a look here. <laughs> that was nice. Farkle is the best. My house is made of Farkle. Give me the bar. Automobile beef transistor. And now, here's some unedited testimony from Mr. P. Willikins from Nova Scotia. Recently, my dog Flowers died, but you know what? I keep him in my fridge. But now, thanks to Farkle and Farkle Byproducts. What better way to preserve old Flowers? I really love my dog. And we're all very, very, <laughs> very, very, very sad. And you know what? It's gone, folks. My dog, it's gone. I like my dog, but now it's gone, folks. My dog, it's gone. I can keep him preserved as ever. And I would hate to see him go. Well, thanks to Farkle, my dog can save all the space I like. And to tell you the truth, I really love Farkle. Farkle! You can live without it, but why would you want to? Chuck those old records, clean out your cattle brands, and make the bed for... Farkle! <laughs> I mean, Farkle. Some restrictions may apply. Supplies are limited. Please allow 68 weeks for delivery. Sold by weight, not by shoe size. Do not overinflate. Lift Farkle with your back, not with your legs. Some sizes, shapes, colors, flavors, dimensions may have settled during delivery. Farkle is not to be used as a flotation device. Farkle may cause irregular bowel movements accompanied by oily discharge and an inability to control them. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. See your doctor if you're sick. A termite walks into a bar and says, "Is the bartender here?" Do not fold, spindle, or mutilate unless prompted by the proper authorities. Direct misuse of Farkle constitutes a direct misuse of Farkle. I think your mother's calling you. 250% of the proceeds from the sale of Farkle go to the Help Save the President of Farkle Industries Fund. Have your pets spayed or neutered or both or neither or one or the other or don't do either if you don't want to or if you're not sure whether you have a pet. Some restrictions may apply. Visit our website at www.dibbly-dibbly-dibbly-ding-dang.org.farkle.dibbly-doo-dog-dappity-pongo-mcbong.com And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Someone please adhere to the narrative I'm drowning in a sea of imperatives again my eyes and wait for the circle to surround my mind And block out the people once again Try.
try to remember I could meet you here three years from the end of December Run around with nothing on Living like an icicle Frozen 
wasn't sick of water I could be a brontosaurus Much too big to use the Doris Making songs and chewing on a frozen stick of water Prosthetic brain Running backwards in the rain Like a train Going back to where it came from Empty now and lighter than it once was Find an analogy This is my synaptic artificiality You see Prosthetic brain Running backwards in the rain Like a train Going back to where it came for you. 
<laughs> yes, son? I found a monkey. Gonna keep it? God, no, son! Get that monkey out of here! Why, daddy? Why? <laughs> Let me explain, son. There there comes a time in every young man's life when he needs to be coaxed out of his womb of innocence. Womb of innocence? Uh, just sit right here, son. Your mother and I have been talking, and we think it's time you learn the truth. Daddy, you're not back on the medication. Son, right? underneath all that cute... Cuddly, human-like veneer lies the seed of evil. Why do you have to sing, Daddy? I know the truth hurts. Listen up, here's why you can't have that monkey. Monkeys can't be trusted with your business. They're sneaky and dishonest through and through. Monkeys can't speak English, so they can't. Tell the truth Monkeys 
Get him, monkey! Get him! 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 Get him!